Hi everybody. I wanted to have a little chat about a change that I have made recently in the way that I journal. Um, if you don't know, I keep a lot of different books. In fact, I keep a, specifically a lot of different journals and typically they have d slightly different purposes, so I don't feel like I'm repeating myself in any of them. So I typically have a daily journal, and that is strictly for me to just recount the events of the day. It's kind of, it's just kind of like a daily log. And I've always enjoyed doing that, and I've done that for the longest. And then I've always had some type of thought journal is what I call it. It's just very stream of consciousness. It's not a daily thing. It's just when I feel like I have a topic or issue or something that I want to explore and write about, I will kind of do it in this journal. And then I, the newest thing that I've been doing is like a little sidekick journal. <laughs> I'm currently doing it in this and it's just something that I carry around with me all the time. So when I'm going, you know, upstairs and downstairs, I just, I always have it on me. You know, it's available uh, when I'm in bed, you know, it's on my bedside stand along with my phone that's charging. So if I just get any kind of random ideas, um, you know, I can just jot them down in here because it's always available to me. And I was kind of thinking the difference between my thought journal and this little sidekick journal was this one was more, a little bit more planned out. Um, I took extra time decorating in here. I was a bit more creative in here and, you know, it just looked prettier. I do decorate and throw things in here, but there's not much forethought going on. I just slap things down on the page. I don't think hard about it at all. I just write and scribble everything in here and uh, throw down whatever stickers or ephemera are near me at the moment. So there's not a lot of pre-planning and forethought that goes into this. So what happened was I decided to combine all of these and I've played with that in the past. Um, last year, I attempted something like that, but I, I quickly dropped it. I, I guess I just like wasn't ready for it or I just didn't give it enough of a chance. So I felt really compelled to do that now for some reason. And I have been doing it for the last like couple of weeks. And what happened was I stumbled on a post from a uh, Leandra, Leandra, uh, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but her Instagram handle is lily.planners.artjournaling. And she had linked in one of her posts to another account by a woman named Laura, and her account is Papered Stars. And Laura was explaining how she journals and how she puts absolutely everything into one journal. Um, she doesn't separate anything out. And so she has thick bound journals like this, but she fills them up um, fairly quickly. You know, she's not hanging on to a journal for like a year or two before it's filled. So I guess that just came at just the right time to kind of push me over the edge. And so I decided I would combine everything. So what I did was um, this was the one that I was having the most fun in. So I just decided to start putting everything in here. So I put these two to the side and I absolutely love doing it this way. And so this has also kind of opened up the idea of not needing to stay in a consistent size. Um, for the longest time, I have been so into wanting to have like all of my journaling in the same size notebook or insert or whatever so that when I archive them, I don't know, they like look really nice and I can keep them all together and store them, I don't know, really well. <laughs> um, and so that has really put that into perspective for me that it's really not 
that big a deal that, you know, the whole point of this is to journal and to be productive doing it. And so that's given me a lot of freedom to be able to um, change things up, to journal in whatever size I feel like journaling in at the moment. And because I'm combining everything, well, not everything, but because I'm combining these three journals into one, I get the satisfaction of filling up more pages at once, of really being able to like focus and sit with one notebook and kind of foster an attachment to it and just get really comfortable with one. And um, also, I, oh, I didn't mention this. I So I have these three and then I, I forgot to mention this fourth one because this is combined with it as well. So I also have this notebook that I carry with me in my bag. And so this is my on the go thought journal. So everything here is usually for when I'm just in the house. And then I had another notebook that I would carry and it would stay in my purse and I would only write in it when I was out of the house. So I've actually combined this as well. So these four notebooks are actually in one, which means I carry this with me all over the house and then when I'm out of the house as well. So it is truly a catch-all journal for everything. And because I'm such a fan of my uh, daily journal, my daily log, um, I've just decided that as I'm writing in here, if I feel like um, it's time for me to start you know, my daily log, I will just skip a space and then start writing my daily log. And that way it's still easy for me to find because it's just such a great reference for me when I'm, I don't know, working in other things or just trying to find information. When I have my daily log, it's such a great resource for me to be able to see when things happened on what day and just really straightforward like that. Um, so I've kind of sectioned it out um, just a little. So when I go to the day, um, I will easily be able to find that section. That's my daily log. Um, so that's how I've, I've handled that. And I really, really love this. And if this changes down the road, like I'm totally open to that. You know, it's just something I've learned. You just have to be flexible and just do what you feel like doing at that time. And it doesn't have to stay consistent. Things can change and you should just have fun while making that change. So all of these, because these are like, <laughs> partly worked in, you know, I've got like 20 or so pages and all of these that have writing and things in them. I've set these aside, but what I, what I'm planning on doing is once this is filled, I'm just going to slowly work my way through these and, you know, it's going to kind of be out of order, but I'm just going to find some kind of labeling system um, to make it all make sense. What I would like is for all of my journals and planners from the year to be archived together. Um, that's what I'm planning for now anyway. So I'm hoping I will be able to work through all of these, but... I'm, that's not like a hard and fast rule for me either, because what I can do is just like cut out the pages that have been worked in and bind them in some way and just archive them all together with everything else from the year. So I'm totally okay with that as well, because once I finish this, if none of these kind of strikes my fancy, then I don't, you know, I don't want to force myself to use it right now. I could just save it for later. But because of this whole idea, I've gotten really into playing with my traveler's notebooks and just stuff that I have and kind of figuring out what I may want to do next. So like one of the things I have here is um, a pocket size and I do not like, well, I have not liked journaling in pocket size like ever. I've tried it multiple times, but for some reason I feel really I don't know, attracted to this concept again. So I just have uh, the one of the three packs from Field Notes that I haven't used. Um, and I'm just thinking like, these could be like one of my journals, like all three of these together. Um, I think Laura actually had a post about that 
on her Instagram where she used a three pack of field notes and counted it as one journal because they were so easily filled. And I feel like I want to try that. So I just kind of set this up to play with it and just see how I liked it. So I have that. Um, and then I also have this brick. So, um, is this, does this not look like the most perfect filled out squishy traveler's notebook? I just <laughs> adore this. Um, this is a personal sized waypoint. It's deluxe. It's from Chic Sparrow and it's the rustic brown. And I basically have like every notebook that could fit in here, in here. And it's mainly these uh, field notes and papers edition. And I'm thinking I want to maybe journal in these four and uh you know just to fill these up as one journal and then i have this uh midori md notebook in here this was b6 slim size and i just really haphazardly chopped off the end to make it personal size and to fit in here but i'm also kind of playing with the idea of not doing like a full bullet journal, but having daily pages for pretty um, extensive to-do lists or tasks that I would like to, you know, accomplish during the day and just break them down. Um, I started kind of doing that in my Hobonichi weeks and I'm really loving it, but I don't think I love having my tasks in my Hobonichi weeks. So it's just another thing that I'm kind of toying with. Um, I don't know when I'll start this and I don't know if I'll use this setup next or not. Um, but I've just been doing this a lot. I've done it with my narrow sized or my standard sized folios and notebooks and things, um, playing around with that. And I'm just having so much fun going back through my stash of things and brainstorming all of these different kind of ideas. And I know I used to be in like all of these different kinds of notebooks, but I still am in multiple notebooks. My daily uh, stack is basically these four now. So in here, this is um, a pouch from Lyra and Co on Etsy. And I have two Hobonichi weeks in here. This is what I use to journal to each of my kids. Uh, I've got one Hobonichi Weeks for each child. This is a hand-stitched leather tee in the light tobacco color. It's the A6 size and it's holding the Midori MD uh, One Day One Page Diary. And this is what I'm using for self-care. And I'm obviously I'm practicing hand lettering in here too. So this, it, um, you know, I jot in here every day. And then this is an A6 size Chic Sparrow. It's a Maverick in the Golden Brown and it is a classic. And it just houses my five year Hobonichi Techo that I use for gratitude and to write down the highlight of the day. And so I still have these and then my journal that I can jot in throughout the day and still do my daily log and everything in there. So, so yeah, so I can still enjoy multiple books. I'm just going to set these aside and try to see if I can work on them one by one. So anyway, let me know if this is something that you do. You just keep one journal and just literally put everything in there. I'm excited to see how quickly I can fill these up. Not that I, you know, want a certain amount of finished notebooks by the end, but the way that I'm, the way that I have been journaling, um, I was not thinking that I would finish any of these even by the end of the year. And, you know, I'd like to have a few at least finished by the end of the year to be able to archive. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again soon. Bye.